So when people ask about device security and they ask me like what kinds of devices I like hacking the best or I think are the most critical, I often say routers. Now routers are a very common target because there's so many things you can do with them. And this next story kind of feeds into that because a service called Black Proxies is becoming increasingly popular for doing all sorts of, let's say, interesting things on the internet that you might otherwise have done with Tor. Now, the reason that you wouldn't use Tor is because Tor is detected very, very easily and blocked by a large number of services. But Black Proxies allows you to use residential IP addresses, which means people's home computers or their home routers to send these requests and basically mask your identity by making it look like the request came from them. Now, a lot of these are devices that are infected or otherwise have been dragged into this kind of botnet almost of proxies that allows people to pay for access. And the, the rate's pretty steep, actually. The marketing here says that you're not supposed to do illegal things and that, you know, illegal things are bad. But frankly, this is very, very commonly used for a variety of different attacks that require you to not be using a Tor server, but you definitely don't want linked back to you, like carding, denial of service attacks, or maybe sending ransom notices or something like that. So you can access the service for $14 a day, $39 a week, or $89 a month. Wait, that's not even that steep. So it seems as though a lot of people are using this as an alternative to things that would otherwise trigger alarms, like a VPN that might be detected, and instead trying to lie low and make it look like it's a home user connecting from a very recognizable IP address that's doing this thing. People doing credit card fraud, people doing all sorts of malicious activities have gravitated towards these types of services and their ability to take cryptocurrency as a way to be able to, in kind of a, an undetected way, where many of the defenses people have created against sketchy or blacklisted IP addresses are able to be evaded by just using residential ones connect back to regular users. So if you're wondering what someone could do with your router, if they were able to get access to it, then this is a great example of how they could actually make a lot of money.